Wow, Ty. Hey. Campaign one, episode Campaign one. Campaign one, episode Are one. Are you excited? We're in the studio. We're live. We set We're all live. this up. I'm ready to dive into some adventure. I've got lots of references in front of me. Listen yes, to the click are. clack of your dice. Yeah, this is great. Gorgeous. Oh. We don't need it. <laughs> We don't need it to begin our story. <laughs> You've got a big tome turning over. Boom! First page, giant, ornate first letter of the first word. It's the C. It's a C. It's a huge C. It's a C? And it says campaign one. <laughs> In the way that big, hearty old biblical fantasy novels were. You blow it off, tons of dust comes off of the tome. <laughs> And we begin. We open on a bustling fishing village of the settlement of, let's just say it on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Trout, Trout Nook. Lake. Trout Nook. Trout Nook. Trout Nook. I also like Krolout Lake, <laughs> or whatever it is that you said. Trout Nook. Trout Nook. Trout Nook. There's a din as busy... Uh, Fishing merchants, also people just fencing, mm. selling just every sort of usual wares, home goods, things they peddled off a merchant cart coming through town and are looking to sell secondhand. Uh, every sort of folk uh, in the sort of settlement along the ragged coast is coming in, uh, and it's morning time. Mm. We also see, uh, God, we also see it's uh, wood planked. The whole thing is on a sequence of piers. Mm. And as we come around and look at the ships that are docked, many, because uh, this is primarily a fishing village, that's yes. the primary industry of this town, many fishermen are leaving yes. uh, to go out and haul in a big catch. Ah. And we hear chaos in the streets. Not mm. so much chaos as just like an excitement, yeah. an excited din, a bustle. A bustle. Uh, it's a chilly day. It's, mm. a, it's a brisk, chilly day. People are dressing in their furs. They are uh, covering their heads for the day, but they are still out. They are still gathering their daily wares. Mm. There are birds that take off into the distance, and it is quite a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please do the foley. We, we want as much foley as possible. Uh, uh, it's midday. It's around noon mm. in this, in on this brisk day in... Trout, Trout nook. nook. I should actually write down the name. Of we the should place. write down the names of the, the places First that we make up. Location. Trout Nook. Uh, it's a cozy town. It's it's nestled in between. This is the jagged coat, ragged coast. Ragged coast. This is the ragged coast. So there are mountains everywhere, and this small village is sort of nestled um, in the eclipse of a couple of mountains as uh, the uh, ocean is also bordering it. Cliff sides, even a fjord. A fjord. One would even say. Let's call it a fjord. One of the shopkeeps opens up, uh, turns from around his stall, selling every sort of oddity. Uh -huh. uh, this man's name is Bruno. Bruno? Yeah. Bruno. <laughs> Writing things down. Don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have the. I don't have Get the your fish here. <laughs> Get your fine, fresh fish here. Uh, and kind of walking through this sort of busy lane, people running back and forth, uh, a hooded figure approaches the kiosk. And Catherine, if you want to describe your character to the folks, please. Him <laughs> takes off her hood. Uh, she has, she is a small person <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, yeah like me yeah she's dope. petite good she's petite <laughs> she has rust red colored hair that is in a french braid that cascades down her shoulder her hair is kind of tousled and matted and messy she never spends too much time 
trying to figure out uh, whether it is kempt or unkempt. She wears a hooded, uh, uh, breast-plated armor um, that was at once shiny and gallant, but is now mm. rather dull Ooh. and combat-worn. Cool. There are some notches in the in the steel, uh, and it has seen much wear. Mm. Uh, around her belt is a welder's helmet. Dope. She also has a pair of uh, welding suspenders, mm. the clasps of which are down at her ankles. She wears boots, and uh, she also wields two daggers that are currently on her hilt. Serious. So ser pretty serious looking. She's pretty serious, isn't she? Hey, you look pretty resourceful. Could use a few items along your journeys, I bet. Yes. We got, uh, let's see what we got. He sort of looks through and think the f the top of his, like, uh, stall uh -huh. is a mess. <laughs> there's any sort of, there's a blacksmith bellows, there's a bone saw, there's a cast iron kettle, uh, and he's kind of looking through. Whatever you need, I can, I can make it happen. But you? your burno doesn't lead you right. Burno's bargains for every oddman. I got something you could stow in your basement. I got something you could put on your rocks. Whatever you need, Burno's gonna come right with it. Are are you the Burno that Ooh. there was the scandal <laughs> last year where there was a man who needed some debts paid? Are, are you the same one? We are on the ragged coast, are we not? Uh, that was a disagreement that I'm sure <laughs> that. Mm, must be there are a lot of burnos it's a popular <laughs> name popular name especially in these parts oh, oh is it your family name like when i get flustered my accent <laughs> kind of goes all over the place <laughs> a little bit well listen burno maybe I... we talk less about where i've been in my history and what i can do to make your life better what you say and uh you know pim kind of looks around and she says well Unfortunately, I've misplaced my gloves. They are mm. Weldon gloves. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, need yeah. He starts just clanging around <laughs> in the back, throwing. He throws away a tarp, and just a big cart is behind it, just stuffed full <laughs> of everything. Uh, there's a live, um, there's a live like wombat, like woodchuck creature <laughs> in a cage that immediately, as he throws the tarp, goes like, and just can, like, just like oh. hisses at him. <laughs> oh, eh, shut up, beanbag! You shut. Up. He puts the tarp back over the. Pim, uh, Pim checks the sun to see like how much time has elapsed yeah. from <laughs> the amount of when when he began searching. Nine his cart. days have passed. <laughs> she taps her toes, waiting. Uh, he comes back uh, to the front counter. These you're gonna love. You said you misplaced your gloves. Well, look what Berno's procured. And he pulls uh, one oven mitt. Uh, <laughs> one single. <laughs> he puts one oven mitt on the kiosk. Pim grabs it and she says, what is this? This is an oven mitt and I asked for two gloves. Yes, but many a fighter around these parts, many an adventurer, right? I'm Shrek. <laughs> do, you, do you not have two oven mitts at least? Yeah, what you need that for when you be wielding a broadsword. I need two things that could be gloves. I'm do you have here. something else for me? I'm not here to argue with you. He goes back uh, and he pulls uh, out um, three uh, sewer's uh, thimbles and sets them <laughs> next to the oven mitts. And then on top of that, he goes, all right. <laughs> Drive a hard bargain for old Berno. But Berno doesn't leave a deal on the table undealt when it's on the table <laughs> to deal with. And Pim smashes her fist down <laughs> on the table and she says, This is and ridiculous. A, upon the smash, uh -huh. a much louder longer smash you hear on the kiosk along the way. And Pim immediately looks at her hands as though she uh, did something wrong or like just hitting the desktop should not have caused that much of a clatter. Um, and turning around, um, 
trying to lose my voice because I'm trying to <laughs> change the song <laughs> and I'm not sure it's working. <laughs> but let me just hit this button. Looks behind her to all of a sudden see that one of the kiosks has been slammed <gasps> into by uh, a what looks like uh, just a hooded figure uh, has taken all of his body weight and shoved into one of the merchant carts, completely tipping it over. There's a complete clatter of stuff and materials everywhere. Immediately, out from behind two other stalls, two more of the same kind of hooded, leather-armored kind of uh, what look like... It's hard to make out what they look like. Jump out from behind the kiosks and uh, join this one... <laughs> uh, raider? I don't know what to quite call it yet. Raider. Uh, that appear to be pillaging uh, this merchant cart. Uh, folks start to run everywhere in chaos. Pim immediately sees the source of the commotion and she draws her two daggers and she runs toward the commotion. She also sees in the distance, perhaps, oh, maybe 500 feet to 100 feet away, uh, a bare chested figure. Well, peels off the table. Quickly, the <laughs> Berno packs up his stuff and quick starts. <laughs> And Ty, would you like to introduce your character? Ooh, seeing that there's a complete ruckus and a fracas uh, taking place in the middle of the market square uh, with kind of a flurry uh, and a swoosh, you see like kind of a, a pelt kind of f a flurry in the air uh, as uh, Dirk uh, Overwacher oh. uh, uh, strides forward uh, from one of the uh, meat stalls that he was haranguing uh, and kind of s takes a step forward uh, in a confrontational sort of way. We see him completely bare-chested, standing six foot two, probably <laughs> 220, 230. This dude is built like a water polo player, but thicker, <laughs> beefier. Uh, he's got some like rough hewn like uh, animal hide leggings, a boar pelt just kind of draped around his shoulder, but oh. otherwise showing the full V. Oh, showing the full V all the way down. With these, these. Yeah, he's got the riblets. He's got those. He's got those riblets. Yeah. Uh, th thick pecs, uh, <laughs> and a and an eight pack, I'd say. <laughs> um, and he he's got uh, long blonde hair, kind of uh, mm. shoulder length that's tied back into a uh, top knot. A man, man bun. Man bun situation. Uh, and he kind of twirls his kind of long spear that he's had kind of strapped to his back and unfurls an iron-tipped spear um, as he looks uh, as he looks <laughs> into the fray. <laughs> and you hear him say, <laughs> let me just get into it. Let me just get into it. Get into character, don't let worry. Let me just get into the character Zip real quick. Zip that off. Redondo, Redondo Beach, Redondo <laughs> Beach, San Clemente, no. San Vicente. No. Whoa there, dudes. Uh, <laughs> That's your accent. Whoa there. Uh, I don't know what you're kind of getting into right now, but <gasps> be careful. It's a, it's a shop's big enough for all of us, right? And he kind of steps forward. Um, and Pim sees him, and obviously these are the only two. We are we are in a sea of civilians mm. running the other way. Yeah. People are protecting their wares. People are protecting their children. No sight of Berno anymore. There are no sight of Berno. <laughs> Berno's gone, and the militia is nowhere to be seen. It's clear to Pim that these two are the only armed people mm. around mm -hmm. in this marketplace. Between Pim and Dirk? Yes, between Pim and Dirk. And she Across. sort of makes eyes at Dirk and, like, Makes wheels. eyes? <laughs> she does not make <laughs> eyes. <laughs> she locks <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Fully improvised, everyone. She locks eyes at Dirk, yeah. draws her two daggers, and sort of like nods her head toward the commotion. And he kind of looks and goes like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, no, and then she like waves her daggers up in the and air. And he, he, Dirk grabs his long spear and he's like, Right, <laughs> and then he kind of looks at it, and she nods vehemently, yeah. and they point. All right, um, and Pim and Dirk uh, both advance together in tandem toward the three yeah. thieves mm -hmm. who are currently trying to make for the main gate they of both, the settlement. Dirk and Pim enter the fray against the three ruffians. Uh, Pim uh, shouts, uh, "Halt!" <laughs> you see. Halt. Uh, 
kind of no like audible response from the three guys, kind of yeah. almost as though they notice Pim's presence, but mm -hmm. don't seem to give any sort of care mm -hmm. or uh, any sort of heed to what is being said. They're rifling through everything almost with a manic um, yeah. attitude, just trying to get at these, just like frantically searching through this mm -hmm. merchant cart. Yeah. We are going to enter the fray. Let's enter I think, the fray. Because I want to I want to get these guys. Okay. Uh, right on. Pim is going to enter the fray. Yeah. Um, we're going to say that these foes are probably troublesome. Yes. Uh, which is three progress per harm and inflicts one harm. Um, we're going to write them down. So it's three thieves. Three as a group. So yes. do you want to set them as one rank higher since they're a group of three? Yeah, let's set it to dangerous. Cool. Dangerous is two progress per harm and inflicts two harm. Uh... uh I'm going to say that uh, Pim is going to use her bow. She takes her bow out um, from a place that is on her back. Yeah. That I didn't describe, but it's definitely there. <laughs> There's <laughs> she, a bow she there. Pulls a bow she out has somewhere. a. Do I have a bow? Or do I just have daggers? <laughs> she doesn't have a bow yet. Like, yeah, she could have a bow. She has. She's a dual. I don't. I don't have a bow. Okay. She's daggers. She's gonna throw her throw, daggers. Some throwing though. daggers. She's gonna throw her daggers. Nice. Um. And that means that I am going to uh, face off. A, I'm going to move into position against unaware foes because they are retreating, mm -hmm. or rather, they are running with their backs to us. Cool. Away. Cool. Um, so that is plus shadow. My shadow is decent. And they don't seem to have noticed or cared that you're no. there. Yeah. So first roll. First roll. Campaign one. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh. Confident knowing this is going to be extremely successful. <laughs> Here we go. And everything we try to do. Hold on, that was caught. That's definitely caught. Get your marker I'm out sorry. of the dice tray. I'm so sorry. Oh, shoot. Strong hit. Dang. That's a strong hit. That's a good omen for us. All right. How did that resolve? Good omen for us. I threw my daggers. Uh, you see uh, daggers coming out of like hip sheaths and they fly through the air. <laughs> uh, and as the... One of the tufts is sort of uh, completely uh, rummaging and not paying any heed to the flying projectiles zipping at him. He catches one. Right. Actually, I didn't strike yet. All I did was enter the fray. That's right. So Thank I you. have initiative. <laughs> Learning That's okay. how to play. I'm t I take two momentum, so I'm at plus four momentum now. Sweet. And I have initiative. Okay. So let's say that I successfully entered the fray. I don't know in the fiction the what that the, means. Yeah. So a couple of daggers fly out of your hip. Uh -huh. uh, they they kind of um, knock into uh, like the kind of leather greaves that one of the street toughs is wearing and kind of cinch him into the... Are you saying you're not attacked at all? I didn't attack yet. I Love think it. enter the fray is different from striking. So let's say Got I it. entered the fray, meaning I successfully drew my dagger. <laughs> cool. Great. I have initiative cool. now. Um, it actually, it means that I can, sh I can do the strike that gotcha. I wanted. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, I'm going to roll plus edge because we're at range here. Um, now the daggers are going to come out. Yes. Now that, well, the daggers are out and now the daggers are going to fly through the air. <laughs> Iron Sword, everybody. Welcome. Uh, great. Dirk watches as Pim grabs <laughs> daggers and goes like, <sighs> <laughs> I can do something with this. <laughs> Uh, strong hit! Less good. No, weak hit. Oh, because you got a plus three? When it's a tie on a challenge dice and the action roll, it's a weak hit. What are you It rolling? has to beat. What are you adding to your roll? I'm adding, oh, plus three. That's a strong hit! Another strong <laughs> hit. Two strong <laughs> hits out the gate. Insane. All right. Doing so what Pim's I good at. I inflict one harm and I retain initiative. One harm is uh, two. Two. Two progress two per prog, harm. Two prog per harm. Two prog. We're at two out of ten. The daggers unsheathed. Were they thrown? You're yes, throwing plus edge? they were edge. thrown. Mm -hmm. Loose themselves from Pim's very skillful deft wrists. Uh-huh. Fly out uh, at the three targets, uh, catching one in the thigh, catching uh, another uh, in the kind of shoulder collarbone clavicle area, uh -huh. sending them both reeling. <laughs> and as you hit them... They don't sound like typical dudes. Uh -huh. You just hear just kind of a, almost like a guttural, just kind of like foaming at the mouth, manic energy from these guys as they go, <laughs> and they're back and they're reeling, uh, but they're kind of stumbling from being hit. 
and you can tell even though you struck them, mm -hmm. still their focus remains on whatever the heck is in this merchant cart that they're rummaging through, bags, Gosh. whatever. Um, really? Pim's still got initiative. Okay, Pim's got initiative. Um, I am gonna... Dirk is taking this time as we kind of shift focus kind of posted on his spear, kind of like looking at what Pim is doing, jumping into action immediately, but still kind of doesn't really know what's happening in this situation. <laughs> kind of going like, whoa, okay. And Pim's sort of like looking at him like, you're going to hop in here or what? <laughs> uh, but regardless, she doesn't wait for him. She's wasting no time. She grabs two more daggers. Oh, snap. Should I have a bow? She should have a bow, too. <laughs> I don't know what Pim has. <laughs> We're fully improvising this game. Don't know she has a bow, she too. She has yeah. a bow. She's going to take her bow out. Sick. I love it. She's going to take her bow out. She's going to attack it uh, at range again <laughs> for plus three edge. She finds one on the ground because we're in the middle of <laughs> a marketplace. You know what? She finds a bow yeah. on the ground. Yeah. There's Use a what bow you got. that came from the car of their stuff. Yeah. There's a bow on the ground. And, <laughs> and, and arrows, arrows yeah, of course. that are amazingly in great condition. Cool. Look at the shit I've got. Great. Uh, that is a weak hit. Nice. Uh, so, great. I inflict my harm, but I lose initiative. So... Uh, that's two. I lose initiative. How did that play out? Stepping back quickly, kicking up skillfully a bow that she found on the ground, thinking <laughs> on her feet into her hand, uh, kind of looking around, uh, sees uh, another arrow in a quiver. Uh, luckily, kicking that one up as well. Uh, knocks it quick, pulls back, fires, uh, and the third... Um, the third... Um, 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 thief. 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 Yeah, thief. Raider. Thank you. Great. Uh, uh, takes it uh, right as he's reaching to sort of search through um, another uh, chest, hits him right through the wrist. Oh! Uh, but now this time, uh, you've got all three of their attention. Uh, hitting that third one kind of seems to like shake their attention loose. Mm -hmm. They look toward you and they rush you. Crap. And I lost an initiative. Yeah. Does Dirk enter? This time, uh, Dirk's going to enter the fray. because right. You know what? No, he's he's not. He's still not. What? He's still not. No. What the hell? He All right. Nothing's ha he kind of sees them going after you, and he's just like, uh, right. well, he sees, yeah, but nobody's, you're just sort of like, as he sees. It's okay. If he doesn't want to, no, I'm he's still not busy. In there. He's All not right. In there. They have initiative, and I'm going to fight with them in close quarters because they're rushing at me, okay. let's say. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, they're, they are en route to me. Mm -hmm. So they are still at range. Let's say that they also, they have throwing stars. They produce <laughs> throwing sick, stars. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. They lose some throwing stars at me. Where are these and, guys from? Uh, with her, uh, uh, I, I don't think I have a shield. I don't know if I have any. You just anyway, got the armor you got on. Yeah, she prepares herself to duck or Dope. run or something. We're going to clash. Um... I'm going to roll plus edge. Great. Come on, hit him. Oh, 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 you know what? No, we're clashing, which means I am losing an arrow. Yeah. I'm losing three arrows. Yeah, actually, simultaneously. At the, same time. The, the, star, the, ku, the stars, the kunai stars, are out. Stars, stars are happening. Arrows are happening. <laughs> it's going to resolve. It's, got it's all happening. Strong hit! Fuck. Yeah. Is a one, one? A one is one. A one zero is, a is one. ten. Woohoo! Ooh, all right, one. strong That's killer. Hit. I regain initiative. Yeah. I lose those three arrows. They hit both, all three of them. Uh, one in his booby. One in his booby. <laughs> one in his little booby. Yeah. Uh, one in the thigh, and the other guy uh, 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 basically glances his temple, but is enough that it's gushing blood. Yeah. Um, that is two more prog. We're at six out of 10 progress. I have initiative again, and I look once again to Dirk, and I say nothing, but I throw my arms up in the air, and I say, are you gonna join me or what? At this point, uh, Dirk uh, kind of uh, looks uh, over that way, sees like now people are trying to harm each other, uh, and goes like, oh, let's just chill out, everybody, and he kind of runs in toward the center, uh, and Dirk's gonna enter the fray. Wow. And he's going to enter, uh, checking, 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 combat, combat, combat. We're here. There we are. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to go facing off. Nobody's unaware. Nobody's ambushed. I'm rolling plus heart. Plus heart? Oh, that's good. That's a strong hit right there. Wow. That's a strong hit for sure. You have initiative. Uh, you can so strike. I'm gonna take, where's my marker at? Your marker? I'm going to take plus two momentum. Nice. Uh, and I'm going to, Dirk just, uh, Runs in, uh, and he's going to 
with initiative, um, look at these guys and try to uh, <laughs> run in and just try to take the blunt end of his spear oh. and do like a tripping attack on one of these guys. All right, let's uh, see if so it works. So it's gonna be one harm versus the two. Uh, and also two, two progress per harm. And deadly weapons do two harm. Mm -hmm. So Oh, crap. Okay. So we're, I think we're a lot farther in progress than we, or at least two more pips in progress on these guys than we think. I think it's not an improvised weapon. It's a spear. So it's still going to inflict deadly harm. Okay. I think it's still going to inflict two harm. Cool. It's not like a club or a shovel. Gotcha. It's still your weapon. Got it. Let's uh, say that you know how to adequately wield it. I'm going to try to hit him in a non-lethal way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to. We're, ju we're not going to kill them, though. This is just to end the fight. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm okay. just I'm striking without the intention to kill. That Got won't it. change the amount of harm I do. Got it. Same amount of harm. Okay. Sweeping spear strike. Great. Great. This is going to be... I'm good at this. Yeah, I'm good at this. Uh, that's a weak hit, though. Weak hit. Okay, you lose, you lose initiative, but... Oh, two harm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're oh, we, we could have ended this fight a while ago. Jacking these dudes up. Oops, I was uh, incorrectly marking <laughs> part progress. Uh, okay, great. So uh, Dirk, uh, with the dull end of his spear, uh, knocks the knees, basically like does a sweeping motion and knocks the shins Whoa. off of one, two, three of the thieves. They, in a cartoon way, spin up, their heels go hit their foreheads, and they plop down into the dust. Uh, the three of them fully incapable of standing up any any longer. Sweet. And we have a full progress track. Let's end this fight. Uh, I'm gonna... You have you you were a weak hit. Yeah, less you initiative. You still initiative. have it though. I have initiative. I'm gonna end the fight. Nice. Um, and I I do that via my challenge die versus my progress track. Yep. Yep. Bada boom, bada bing. We won the fight. So Pim, in a decisive action, procures rope uh, from one of her uh, uh, saddlebags. Okay, I thought wears. it was going to be still like stuff falling on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> she like... finds rope on the ground. Lucky for me. <laughs> she procures rope uh, from one of her saddlebags, ties the three thieves up. They're back to back to back. Um, and says, that'll be as far as you're going today. Um but she notices that they're not speaking. They're, 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 they're acting very bizarrely, the three of them. They're sort of uh, writhing in, in a way that seems inhuman. Mm. Um, and instead of, you know, uh, obviously she, was, she, she is prepared to stay with them until the militia arrive. Mm -hmm. However, they have yet to, they have yet to arrive. We, we maybe see some coming in the distance on mm -hmm. horseback. Dirk flags them down. But in the meantime, Pim takes her focus away from the militia and focuses on these three thieves who are once again behaving in a way Dirk walks that up. seems bizarre. Dirk walks up. Nice moves. Thank you. What? I got to be honest. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. What the hell is going on? You started brawling on... Uh, who are these guys and wh what? They stole from the marketplace, didn't they not? Uh, I mean, I guess. I just turned and all of a sudden a full-on melee was going down. Yeah, because they were stealing, weren't they? I don't know and then she turns to the thieves. Were you stealing something? We're going to do... I'd like to do a uh, uh, gather information. Nice. To sort of see what, if possible, Pim can get from... Or us both mm -hmm. can get from these guys. Great. So uh, when you search an area, ask questions, conduct an investigation, um, we're going to roll plus wits. Uh, is Dirk the one? Well, I asked the question. So really, I should. Yeah, go for it. I should do it, right? But my wits are pretty bad. So this might not work. Um, Love it. Ask questions of a person with we don't share a bond. So it's just wits. Uh, so again, I, I asked the question. You were stealing something, right? <laughs> were you not? That is a miss. That's a full miss. Full on miss. Yeah. Uh, unearths a, okay, on a miss, your investigation unearths a dire threat or reveals an unwelcome truth that undermines your quest to pay the price. Pim, just uh, upon asking this, uh, uh, gets stonewalled by these three guys. Complete mm -hmm. silence. And then 
uh, Dirk uh, looks forward uh, and asks even more and be like, uh, it's going to go a lot easier for you guys if you answer the questions and pulls the hood back on one of these guys. Mm -hmm. And it shows the figure is completely unconscious. He's like, what? hey, hey. And he uh, smacks his face a little bit. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, Pim pulls the hood back on the other three. Unconscious. Nothing. Pim kneels down and rolls the eyelid open of one of the three thieves, and it is completely black. The entirety of the eye is black. Like, noth- like no eye, or the eye itself is the black? The eye itself is completely black. Oof. The iris, the pupil, the white part, all Oof. of it is completely black. Uh, and she sort of startles and walks back a little bit and looks at Dirk. Who's, who's at this point, like, holding his spear at the ready, being like, I don't know what any of that is. I've never seen anything like that before. Thank you so much, we hear from behind us. Oh. And we turn and we see on horseback uh, the militia. Three people on horseback. The entire militia is three people. My goodness. Those pesky thieves. I thought you would never finish the job. Who are you supposed to be? What the hell took you so long? Excuse you, rude boy. Oh, dear. I am the <laughs> Marquis. Uh-huh. I am the Marquis okay. of... Of... Of Trout Nook? Trout Nook. Trout Nook's Marquis? I am the Marquis of Trout Nook. And my name is Chim. Chim? Chim the Mar- Marquis Chim. <laughs> like Marquis Chim. Chim with an M. Chim with an M, yeah. Spell Chim with an M. Marquis Chim. Marquis Chim. Chim is his last name. Yeah. First name, he, he's not going to tell he's us. He's not going to tell first. us his first name. Uh, we see Marquis. You have done a great deed today, the two of you, and we will now take these three into custody. Marquis Chim, uh, we see, is in a very fine-looking clothing for the region. Mm. Uh, has, like... S- very like a long silken attire with a jeweled chain uh, and a kind of like a snow fox pelt over Marquis Chim's shoulders, mm-hmm. um, but uh, refuses to get off his horse as he is quite short uh, uh-huh. and wants to stay high up, yes. kind of towering over his two uh, body men yes. uh, who are next to him. Uh-huh. Um, and, <laughs> uh, and Dirk goes... Um, these guys completely came in, uh, just started causing a ruckus or whatever, uh, and just uh, this nice lady here stepped in and just k- completely kicked their ass. Nevertheless, awesome. we thank you for your service, uh-huh. and we will take them into custody. And Pim kind of turns indignantly and says, isn't there anything in it for us? Uh, Marquis uh, chimes in. Chimes in? Mar- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, aside from the wonderful thanks of the people of Trout Nook, a good deed does not go unrewarded, and what I've always heard is satisfaction in a job well done is its own reward. Men claps his hands. Uh, the men, uh, his body men start to come in and just kind of take the binds uh, and kind of what they, as they sort of try to stand these guys up, he, they find that they're not moving and completely dead. Dead? Like body, just not responsive <gasps> in any sort of way. Uh. Hmm. What a, honestly, it's a shame that this dirty business has to ruin another gorgeous day. Marquis. Marquis place. Hmm? No, they, they were unconscious. I swear we didn't kill them. <sighs> honestly, um... What I see in front of me is a tossed aside cart, three dead bodies, and you two tough-looking brutes, honestly. Um, So now I need you two to answer some questions. Um, um, I'm going to try and... (laughs) This isn't going to go great. This is going to go great. I want to compel Marquis to that, like, don't worry about it. Yeah. I know this looks crazy. Yeah. uh, But... You know, I think Dirk is very compelling. Yeah, yeah, you think so? Yeah. You don't need to question us, right? We were just doing good deeds, you know. Yeah, make a compel roll. This guy sounds like a freaking. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he is. 
Uh, oh, are like you gonna, how are you going to do it? Are you going to charm, pacify, barter, or convince? Yeah. So this is going to be plus heart. this is going to be this is going to be pacify. Okay. It's going to be. Um, I'm going to charm him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, sir. Like. Well, you got to roll on it first. Uh, okay, I can give my pitch, and then we'll see how well it goes. All right. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Actually, I'm sorry. Look, sir, you're you're. Obviously, in a lot of stress, uh, you seem really stressed about this whole situation, which, like, looking at it, like, ugh, am I right? <laughs> so, what I like to do, honestly, is go, and we kind of, we're kind of, people are kind of scattered out, but I like to, like, close my eyes and scream real loud. And I think when you do that, after you do that, you're going to find you're not going to let emotion kind of garter your decision making, right? And you can kind of just like let us let us be on our way, you know? And I don't know, a reward. Pim is wiping the That's sweat so from her brow as this is happening. <laughs> um, so we can Is it not? Yeah, it is. We can <laughs> That's what we can. That's All what right. we can. So, on as above, but they okay, so you they'll do what you want or share what they know, Got but it. they're going to ask something of you in return. So the Marquis <sighs> says, "Of course, I don't have time for this today. If I've already missed my facial and my massage back at the palace." Yeah, sure. I don't have time. Guards, take them away. However, okay. You have given me an awful lot of trouble for one day. Mm. This was a messy job. Though you took care of these three, it wasn't neat. I would like, in return, for you to... Are you like stress? Is it the stress that's like causing... Yes, it's a lot of stress. <laughs> I am yeah. very stressed. You know, a lot of responsibility, for sure. Do you possibly have ways to manage stress? Oh, I mean, besides, like, honestly, besides the closing eyes and scream real loud, that can be, like, honestly not feasible for a lot of people. I know what I want. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I want you to sing me a song. You've got an ocarina around your neck, do you not? Yeah, I do. That's what I require. Then I will be on my way. <laughs> <laughs> and Pim's like... <laughs> Dirk sort of looks down. <laughs> well, I don't want to disrespect someone at your station, obviously. No, no. Please proceed. Um, And I'm going to... I'm going to consider this uh, face danger role <laughs> as, I, as I really don't Wait, want to. Wait, really? And so I'm going to see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Dirk looks down at his ocarina, plays a few notes. <laughs> Which sounds a little bit akin to the Star Wars theme, but that doesn't exist in this universe, so nobody cares that. Don't sing anymore because we might get muted. Don't sing anymore. Um, <laughs> and he's he says, Young boar on the trail boar, watch out for young boar. Ma boar. On the trail, boar, mama <laughs> boar, watch out for <laughs> young boar on the trail. And he starts belt. He starts to oh, young. <laughs> And he tilts his spear, the iron in his spear. He starts ripping into it. <laughs> he kind of tucks his ocarina back underneath. Uh, and we see <laughs> Marcus kind of, I'm going to see how well that went over. 
I'm gonna go with a little face danger here. Gonna see how that that did. Pim's eyebrows to her hairline. <laughs> I'm gonna go see how well I I. We're just gonna consider this how well it re- resonated with him. Oh sure. Not how great his singing was. Because the singing was great. It's just how what what the Marquis's taste is. Okay. You know? <laughs> That's a. Uh, it's a weak hit. What am I rolling plus? Is that hard? Heart. It's a weak hit. It's a weak hit. Uh, He's not his, what's the weak hit on his, face danger? Not his genre, you know? <laughs> I don't think this is face danger. We're being pretty brutal you know, to ourselves. success, but face a troublesome cost. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. You probably just... That was quite moving. <laughs> yeah, it's just an old song we used to sing growing up. Just kind of moving throughout the wilds and stuff. A troublesome cost? It doesn't have to be, like, super literal. I would like you to do that again for my court. It's troublesome. I would like you to return in one week's time. Okay. Friday Eve, just at dusk, to do that for my court. Whoa. You uh, will be prompt on time. Dirk. And you will regale us with that. Dirk's never had, like, kind of like a highbrow, like, no, no one's ever like complimented his singing <laughs> before. That's kind of something he just did when he was alone, kind of in the wilds, just kind of being around nature. And yeah. uh, this is the first time he's gotten like that positive feedback, and now yeah. possibly a gig out of this. It's troublesome though. He doesn't want to do it. So he. Uh, it's supposed to be true. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I see. A tro- I was considering that, that in terms th- of the rank of what oh. it would be. Yeah. Uh, he's like. So he's super meek about it. He's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. And with that, the Marquis turns his horse about. and In a huff. In a huff and gallops <laughs> away, leaving them in a trail of dirt. <laughs> and with the three thieves in tow uh, uh, on someone's horse. I don't know. They hooked him up to a, a, a cart on the back of one of the horses. Dirk sort of sees Pim and kind of. And they're alone. They are now alone. Looks, kind of looks her up and down and goes like, thanks for, uh, thanks for getting me out of that. That was, that was crazy. <laughs> I mean, like, you- I know it's weird. Just like typical day. You just want to get some shopping done and like, I, but like great moves. Like you're awesome. Thank you. But I must say that you got us out of that pickle because I wasn't sure what the Marcus was going to do. And what was with their eyes? That's one of the wilder things I've ever come across. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. And the fact that they were like robots. They were. Whatever a robot is, I certainly don't know. <laughs> and Pim has a, has a sideways glance at him. She regards his spear. She regards how tall he is. A full few heads taller than she. She regards his might and she regards... <sighs> yeah. His good nature. Good looks, and probably, too. And she says, there's some things I need to do out in the world. There's some things I need to get done. But I can't do them alone. Well, before, I don't know, want to, like, split a pint and just, like, like, and Pim, I don't know, like, you seem cool. I could use a friend. And w- sometimes... That's all what we're looking for. Yeah. We had a hard, stressful situation. You could have died. I was gonna goes, I was gonna let that happen. <laughs> you could have died. Let's go let's, let's take get a, a drink. Let's take a break. Let's just like let's get a drink. Let's just like ugh, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta like ugh. You know what I'm saying? And Pim's like he's so strong and he's so stupid. <laughs> Wow, that kind of... <laughs> that was to herself. She knows it's not tough. allowed. <laughs> let's get a drink. Get that, though. And let's say that they, the two of them, mm. dust themselves off, mm. you know, crack their backs a little, and they make way for the local tavern, mm. the Stinky Fish. The Stinky Fish. Uh... The Stinky Marlin? No, there's no redos. <laughs> stinky Fish. It's the, it's the Stinky Fish. <laughs> But she goes to dark. Isn't it called the stinky fish? Is it called something else? Uh, no, that's it. 
The starving marlin. No, that's the starving marlin. Uh, it's definitely the stinky fish. Stinky I think you're fish. definitely just like remembering wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and they enter the stinky fish tavern. We see uh, just kind of a low hanging banister as this is sort of like a garden level, so to speak. Oh. Um, it's kind of uh, set in as this whole marketplace was set on piers. Oh. You have to kind of descend down some more piers and kind mm. of built into where the pier meets the land is this kind of like underground kind of uh, dive. Dingy. There's yeah. like dripping happening from above. You don't know what it is. Just dripping everywhere. <laughs> just kind of like New York City in the summertime. Just yeah. AC units dripping on you. It's just mm. dripping. It's mystery dripping. Mm -hmm. um, it's It smells. It smells bad. It does uh, smell bad in there. Some of the locals as a, as a good amount of time has passed and we're kind of in like the late afternoon mm. uh portion of the day after all that chaos um you see there's definitely kind of like a uh loud din as as regulars of the bar seem to be a bit less sleepy today and a bit more chatty about the crazy fight that broke out in the marketplace mm. yeah and pim leads dirk uh to the bar uh, she grabs them both a stool um, and uh, sits down with a clank of her armor and beckons for the local barkeep named. Ooh, let me get... You're going to roll on the barkeep's name? I want to roll on the handy dandy... You're going to roll uh, on the barkeep's name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ironlander names. Great. Table. Yeah. Which I'm not sure I have in front I of I have me. it. <laughs> oh, no, I got all the tables in Lodestar. <laughs> Right? Yeah, settlement name. Why don't you roll, and I'll tell you the results. Got it. Ready? Go. Oh, uh... 100. 100. Chandra. Chandra. Chandra uh, the barkeep. Chandra polishing a mug. Uh, kind of looks up and goes... She's a gruff woman. She's really... She's seen some stuff. Uh, kind of, like, hair tied back, uh, jet black hair tied back in a, like, tight ponytail. Just kind of like a furrowed brow immediately looks at you going like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> so gruff. <gruff>. Wow. <laughs> Newcomers, uh, just take a seat wherever. We'll get to you when he, we can. Uh, we're, we're short. Just give me a second. And then she kind of turns. and Pim aside to Dirk says, not much hospitality there. Yeah, it's Chandra. Even, she kind of like, She'll get to us when she wants to get to us. I don't want to, like, like pressure her or nothing. I was told that this is the place to go. Uh, so, like, I don't know. You don't have to give me, like, your whole deal or whatever. But just, like, you handle yourself in a fight. Like, fucking, like, great. And Pim sort of just does a quick scan around to see. They're, they're, the tavern is busy, but mm. the bar is not. They mm. are afforded a little bit of privacy except for Chandra, who remains polishing steins <laughs> and will She's not gotta get them will not wait yeah. on the two of them. Yeah. Pim, slightly sotto voce, but enough to be heard over the din and the clatter and the clanging of this raucous tavern. Sotto, says, vo sotto voce. Sotto voce. Mm -hmm. Says, there's things, like I said, that I need to do. Mm. And I can't tell you much about it yet. But there's things I need to get done. And I'm looking for a partner to get those things done. If you're looking perhaps for adventure, a way to pass the time and perhaps some gold, I would want you to come with me. Cause can there be any sort of what kind of work we talk like lab labor dangerous stuff we're talking there's someone i need to find uh-huh and if and meanwhile chandra sort of perks up and and i and pim in her periphery sees that chandra is now paying attention to them and she sort of is like she 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 stops talking. She shakes her head, and she realizes that it's it's not quite safe here. Mm. Chandra, in the meanwhile, saunters over to them and says, yeah. "Aren't you two the? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it you two who uh, fought off all those thieves earlier? Yeah. Yep. It's a tough job. Yeah. Uh, not to like interrupt. Um, uh, can I get some water? And and she like 
pulls up a get dusty. Two, two waters. She gets two dusty steins that were not polished, mm. d- dips them into troughs, yeah. and slams them down onto the bar. Uh, uh, thank you. Savor the more flavor. You two mercenaries or something? Closed is fine. Um, <laughs> for now. Uh, and Dirk sort of starts looking through uh, his kind of like waist like satchel you <laughs> see just kind of like it's a lot of like you see like root ends and like flower petals and things <laughs> acorns moss yeah and he sort of looks up and he's like um yeah uh no, just like passing through town honestly not because i got a on. problem and i think you two could probably solve it uh and you're looking Dirk- for work you're looking for gold you're not going to pay for those, are you? I have every intention of... D- uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, work. You mentioned work. Then Pim interrupts and just says, what do you need done? Mm. Because Pim is also... She could use some gold. Mm. She's in dire straits as well. Yeah. I see that uh, the two of you can hold your own. What I'm asking for... We'll fill your pockets, but it's a little dangerous. Oh, you want to roll on? Uh, I want to roll. I okay. want to roll and figure out what this is. Cool. Should we do action and theme? Should we do, we do trouble? We can Should do we trouble. Do, let's see. We've got a, uh, gosh, we've got a lot of things we could roll on. Yeah. We could do character act. Let's see here. Um, Myriad options with the great tools at oh, our disposal. Truly. via Iron Sworn. Let's do. Character goal? What Let's perks, roll on that. What perks are inspiration? 58 is... No, let's see. Uh, see, I got something that was stolen from me. Okay. It's one of these steins here, see, but it's made of pure gold. It was given to me a while ago. Wow. I won some lumber sports. It was first prize in the lumber sports Olympics. That's so impressive. I won it on my own accord. See, and she smacks her bicep and it reverberates throughout the You know, some would kind of see uh, lumber sports as like, and it, never mind. Yeah, I lifted a whole tree. You know, I lifted a tree and I transported it and I put it down. That was, that was the gold medal winning feat. I did that. My chalice, yeah. however, is gone. Okay. And I know the guy who took it. Okay. His name is Bachelor. Uh-huh. Oh. He goes by the name of Bachelor. Okay, right on. Happily married man. He it's kind of, I didn't think that. He, he he lives, he's a merchant. Mm-hmm. In the next town of Sparrow Keep. Yeah. He lives there out of a van, mm-hmm. caravan, covered in canvas. It's where he sell his, sells his wares. He has it. I need it back. So he like he stiffed you out of... No, he stole it. He just straight up stole it he from you. Straight up stole it from me. Broke in here. Or maybe I was polishing steins. Maybe I was in the back yelling at my cook. I don't know. But it's gone. And he has it. Dirk sort of looks at Pim as uh, it gets very quiet in the tavern. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, And says, uh, what do you think, travel buddy? And Pim says, there's gold in it. And Dirk sort of leans in. You know, I'm just like kind of curious, like, you know, you ever think of uh, like applying that athletic prowess and ability to like something not so wasteful uh, in some sort of like, I don't know, like running real fast or like you seem really strong, but like, <laughs> yeah, some like timber sports, uh, it's very harmful and it, and it like also can encourage like a lot of like over like logging and like over. Uh, and like uh, she's gone. <laughs> and Chandra slams down on the bar and says, "Get my chalice and get out." <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, so they they exit the inn. They exit the tavern. Yeah. Um, As uh, I would say, before they please, leave, yes. Uh, uh, 
Dirk looks back toward, uh, what's her name? Chandra. 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 Um, and he goes, Chandra, I promise we're going to get that gold chalice back for you. Uh, and he grabs, uh, as, as he left his spear outside, because you can't bring weapons into a tavern, <laughs> grabs onto the blade of his iron tipped spear, squeezes till like a tiny line of blood rushes ooh, out. Ooh. And he goes, We promise we'll get it back. And he holds his hand up. And he goes, goes like this Does the same with her dagger. I didn't know blood was involved. You just have to touch it. God almighty. He dirt draws blood. Oh, God. <laughs> Him, like, reluctantly. It's got to mean, gotta mean something. <laughs> does, like, a tiny little lancet size on her fingertip. <laughs> and just says, yeah, me too. Do we have a first iron vow? This is our first iron vow. Oh, Retrieve snap. the chalice. The golden chalice. Retrieve Chandra's chalice. Chandra's chalice. This cool. seems... <laughs> Troublesome. Troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our first that's iron our first vow. Iron vow. Pim looks at log. Dirk and just uh, with her with her slightly bloody hand and mm. his bloody hand goes for a shake and says, "I trust you, and I don't know what's ahead, but I'd like to stick with you if you don't mind." Not one bit. Sounds like fun. And they give a, a firm, hearty forearm clasp oh oh <laughs> <laughs> so as yeah. to not touch the cuts yeah, together yeah, yeah. It's, it's sanitary that we want to be sanitary we don't want to be gross and icky um and that is where we will end our episode episode one thank you so much for tuning in to our very first episode of our first campaign of iron swarm we'll see you next time